scooters versus motorcycles. Which one should you get? Happy Monday, everybody. I gotta... Uh, my nose itches. Those nose itches can be the worst. Oh, you people all suck. I used to have one of those. I used to hug the inside lane too until I got tickets for it. Good luck there, buddy. It's gonna get doored. You know, I rode a Vespa in Manhattan for about six years. Had two of them, a little 150 and then a 300. Say what you will about scooters versus, you know, motorcycles. Uh, that was the best way to get around the city, Manhattan was on a Vespa, you know, you just got on and went and had a little uh, hook so you could put your grocery bags or a six pack of beer <laughs> on the front after work, storage under the seat, super tiny, easy to get around, easy to weave in and out of traffic, um, except when you hit a pothole that was bigger than the actual circumference of the wheel, and everything is internal on a scooter like that, so when it would get knocked over, you just pick it up, they're made to get beat up. I love the bike, don't get me wrong, you know, but when you get in a, a really gnarly New York City traffic, like this guy, you know, just cruising, going to work, got his work clothes on, got his girlfriend on the back, she thinks he's cool, and it's Scooter, you know, Italian. I'm an Italian, so, again, I didn't get any, uh, or as much jokes made about my Scooter because I'm an Italian, it's acceptable. It's an acceptable thing. Hey, it's I'm Italian. I what I did my scooter in the city. I think a lot of it, besides just wanting to have a motorcycle, let's just put the whole category, you know, not needing to justify the bike. But you know, as I got a little older, I wanted to be safer, and I felt like the, mo the, the scooter was gonna just fall apart at any minute. Some of those potholes were bad, and they're tiny wheels, so you know the brakes aren't as great, and the. Uh, the taxi cabs and other cars don't respect you as much and respect your space as much as they do when you're on a motorcycle in the city. Now, wanting to be safer, I, you know, it dawned on me that the, oh, they're making them, what is going on here? They're making a movie. Don't back into me, you can't see me. Anyway, back to my story. Yeah, I wanted to have, you know, a good, Riding jacket with armor, full helmet, you know, riding shoes with armor, boots. And uh, you gear up totally. You go all the gear all the time, and then you get on a little scooter, you look kind of stupid. <laughs> and there's a weird thing in the brain for most people. I'm sure there's others out there that are geared up, and they don't care. But uh, you hop on that scooter, looking like you're ready to race MotoGP. Um, you know? but I can get my gear on and get on my motorcycle and not look quite as stupid. So yeah, the motorcycle is a great tool and it's the right tool for the right job. And if you are only going to commute in New York City and you don't have the need for a nice engine growl, uh, my money would be on the scooter. If you want to get out of town, go on longer rides, you're done. You know, you <laughs> Those bridges can get a little windy. I'm not talking about the Brooklyn Bridge, the Manhattan Bridge. I'm talking about, you know, the George Washington Bridge. Some of the larger ones, higher up, with uh, things like big trucks and things on them. So yeah, if you're looking to get two wheels and you're commuting in a city, meaning point A to point B are both in the city, be like this guy, get the uh, Vespa. If you're gonna be on the highway or you wanna go out of town, get a motorcycle. But above all, remember, it's your money, so just get what you want to get. People are like, well, what if I outgrow it? You just get what you want to get and what's right for you within your means. And uh, if you change your mind, you get something else, like I did. I had a 150cc Vespa, and it got smashed by a car that tried to park on top of it. And got the insurance money, and uh, I had to make a choice. You know, I was looking at motorcycles, and then I was looking at just a bigger Vespa, the 300. 
And I came close to getting the Ducati Monster. It was like between a Ducati and a Triumph or the Moto Guzzi. And I just didn't have a push towards one. And the numbers, I just couldn't quite justify at the time getting a bigger, more expensive bike and paying a little bit more for insurance and all that stuff. It just didn't work out. So you know what? I got what was right for me, which was another Vespa. And I rode that around for a while. And then when I was in the right place and I just couldn't wait anymore, I bit the bullet and got the motorcycle. I'm very happy with my choice. This city is a tough city. And while, oh, hold on a second here. And while the, uh, the motorcycle's definitely more solid than the, than the scooter was, having everything on the inside, all the parts inside of the little Vespa housing, uh, handles winter and the elements a lot better. You know, I've had to have, you know, for a brand new bike, I've had to have a lot of things worked on for this. And I can only chalk it up to New York City's a tough place for motorcycles if you're daily commuting. Okay. I don't know. This is not like a super funny vlog. Maybe I can try it uh, another time, but yeah. Scooters versus motorcycles. Which one should you get? The answer is, I don't know. Just get whatever you want. Thank you.